Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to find factors and then we're going to solve these given cubic equations in a really super easy way. The very first thing before we get started, we want to make sure that our these given cubic equations are in standard form. And here our cubic standard form looks like this one on the right hand side. I want you to notice one thing over here. In the second equation, x variable is missing over here. As you can see, x is missing. So how are we going to fix, fix that one? So what we did is wherever you see missing x term, I put down 0 time x. So let's get started with the very first example right now. In this cubic equation, as you can see, that our leading term is 10. We want to make sure that this must be 1. In order to do that one, we are going to divide this by 10. Then we're going to divide by 10 across the board. So then our new equation is going to look like, so this is our new equation and its leading coefficient is apparently one you can see that one so our next step is i want you to focus on this last number of this equation which is negative 3 over 10. so now we are looking for possible divisors are the factors of this number negative 3 over 10. so here are our possible divisors that turns out to be the one that gonna divide into this number okay these are all bunch of them now among these one we need to find three numbers why we need a three numbers look at this what is the highest degree of this polynomial is three so that means we must have at most three solution to this equation so we're gonna pick three numbers among these ones so that if you add or subtract which they should give us something so we're going to pick three points if we add them that must add up to this number and if we multiply them they should multiply out to this number let me show you an easy way of finding those three numbers because it will be really hard to figure out from here so look at this fraction, 11 over 10 could be written as 1 plus 1 over 10, isn't it? Now I can write 1 plus, I want you to just manipulate 1 over 10. I can write 1 over 10 as 1 times 2 times 5, isn't it? 2 times 5 is 10, so I can write this thing as three-fifth minus one-half if you if you simplify that's going to give you one-tenth so that means we figured out our three numbers the first one is positive one the second one is three-fifth and the third one is negative 1 over 2. If you add them, we're going to get this number. And if you multiply them, we're going to get this one. So we got these numbers. 1, comma, 3 over 5, comma, negative 1 over 2. Once again, what that means is if you multiply this thing, we're going to get this number. And if you add them up, we're going to get this number. Thus, our factor is going to be simply, I want you to just go ahead and put three parentheses. And then I want you to put down x, x, and x. And the very first number is positive 1. I want you to put plus 1 right up here. The next one is positive 3 fifth i want you to put down positive three over five and then i want you to put down this number which is negative one over two 
Now, I want you to just look at this fraction over here. What is the bottom number is 5. I want you to simply drag it and put it in the front of X. So we can write this one simply as, I can write so the X plus 1 is going to stay same. And this could be written as 5X plus 3 times. We're going to do exactly the same thing for this one as well. You can see this one. Once you move it over here, it's going to go over here. So that's going to become simply 2X minus 1. Thus, finally, our solution set is going to be simply, look at these numbers, positive 1, positive 3 fifth, and negative 1 over 2. Just switch their sign, change their sign, and that's going to be our solution. So this becomes negative 1, comma, this is negative 3 over 5, and comma, 1 over 2. And that is our answer. Now let's move on to our next example in this cubic equation our leading coefficient is 15 once again we want to make sure this must be 1 so we're going to divide this one by 15 that means we're going to divide across the board by 15 and our new equation is going to look like and here we have a leading coefficient 1 in this equation now we're going to shift our focus on this side uh, look at this last number over here in this equation which is 4 over 15 we want to find the possible divisors or the factors of this number so here comes these are our possible divisors of this number you can see each and every one and now in this next step we want to pick three points among these possible divisors if you add them that should give you this number and if you multiply them that should give you this number i know this is not an easy task let me show you an easy way of finding those three numbers look at this one over here, negative 30 1 over 15 isn't it i can write this thing as negative 2 and minus 1 over 15. Once again, 1 over 15 could be written as leave it negative 2 like this thing. And this 1 over 15 could be written as 1 over 5 times 3, isn't it? I can write this thing. Now I want you to just simply focus on this part. So I'm going to leave negative 2 and minus and this in parentheses I can manipulate this one. I can write 2 over 5 minus 1 over 3. So if you open this parentheses this simply become negative 2 minus 2 over 5 plus 1 over 3. That means we got three required numbers. Negative 2, negative 2 fifth, and positive 1 over 3. So I'm going to write down those three numbers right up here. Negative 2 comma negative 2 over 5 and positive 1 over 3. And if you add these three numbers that should give you this one isn't it add and if you multiply that should give you this number and now we're going to find our factors now as you can see the factor is going to be simply i want you to put down three parentheses put down x x and x now i want you to look at this number this is negative 2 put down negative 2 right up here and this is negative 2 fifth i want you to just put down negative 2 over 5 right up here and this is positive 1 over 3 
I'm going to put down positive 1 over 3. Now we have a two fractions, these two. This number, you see 5 at the bottom. I want you to move it to the front. Likewise, I want you to move this 3 to the front. So our factor is going to look simply like x minus 2. This becomes 5x minus 2. And this becomes 3x plus 1. And finally, our solution set is going to look like, look at these numbers, negative 2, negative 2 fifth, positive 1 third. I want you to switch their sign, change their sign. So this is going to become positive 2. This become 2 over 5. And this is going to become simply negative 1 over 3. And that is our answer. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.